Hey guys, so I have an Nepenthes vogelii that has needed to be repotted for like two years. It's like a two foot vine. When I bought it, it was in this little four inch pot. Um, it needs to be repotted still. And hopefully I, I can put it into something like a six inch pot and I'll show you guys how to do all of that. So here's the entire plant. Um, I am going to move it into this pot, hopefully. So for this, you can use dry sphagnum moss or live sphagnum moss. If you have tons of live sphagnum moss, then just go with that, but it doesn't really matter. I've used dry sphagnum for every single plant that I've potted, but now I've run out and I need to use the live sphagnum that I've grown on these shelves up here. So um, I'm just gonna take one of these cultures and um, use the sphagnum in it to pot this plant into this larger uh, container. So I'm gonna start by removing uh, this guy from his pot and um, figuring out exactly how much of the live sphagnum that I need to use to put around it. Um, I recommend when you unpot a plant to pot it in another pot, if the medium isn't old and worn down, um, to just take it and put it in to there. That way it doesn't like stress the plant as much because Nepenthes especially get very, very disturbed when you like mess with the roots a lot and um, it might cause them to like drop a flower stalk, like one that's being made currently, or um, it might just cause the plant to like stop growing for a bit altogether. So as you can see here, I have taken the plant out of the pot and um, I'm going to put it into its final pot and um, pack it into where it's not too tight, but not too loose. I don't want it to fall over since it's such a tall vine, um, but they do not like smashed roots. So just try to keep it airy when you're um, packing the stuff in the thing. No, some people use like, um, I've read, I think like, two parts sphagnum and one part perlite um i find that completely unnecessary and i feel like that makes the pot just drain too fast i even like i have most of my nepenthes potted in pure sphagnum moss and they um they often dry out way too fast so i've had to um put them into like like water dishes that way they just don't dry out so they're basically sitting in water all the time and a lot of people probably wouldn't recommend that but um i find it not to be that bad and i have high humidity in here too so um i've never had any issues with root rot or anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and stick the plant in and see how that looks and yeah that looks about right so i'm just going to um start packing around it with sphagnum moss so i'm just grabbing sphagnum from this like massive culture here and um i'm going to just stick it around the plant here. And now I might top it off with a bit of extra live sphagnum just to make it look nice and to keep extra moisture and that's um, a big big advantage of having live sphagnum because it holds in moisture really well and it lets you know when your plant needs to be watered. I always water whenever the live sphagnum on top looks like it needs a bit of water and as long as I keep that sphagnum on top nice and healthy then the Nepenthes always stays perfectly watered. And I don't think there's really like an exact uh, season to repot these. I'm doing this right now in the middle of winter. You might want to do it in summer if you're in like more of a temperate climate if you're not growing in the tropics because um, then it will be able to recover more easily. So it's looking good however the plant is tilting over just because it's so top heavy. So what I'm going to do is um, use a little piece of bamboo to stake that to where it does not tip over. And it's a bit shorter than the plant but I can't have it too high because then it will um, not fit where I want to put it. So I'm just going to stick this pretty much straight through the center of the pot down there. And then I use these soft twist tie thingies to hold the plant onto the, um, whatever you call it, like a little rod stake thingy, whatever. So here's the plant all staked up and ready to grow. Um, so I'm just going to set this back up on the shelf where it was, and hopefully it will recover nicely and make these beautiful pictures like this one right here. So here is the final product. You can see that there is a good amount of live sphagnum around the top of the pot, and that will look even better once it starts growing out and um, covering up this with like a little mound like it has on these other plants right here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do not forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos like this every Friday, and I will see you guys next time, so bye. I got a new phone, so hopefully this is better than the iPhone that I was filming with. I don't know. And I also got sick, so this is going to be my like horrible sickness voice the entire video.